Welcome to EV News Coverage. The 2025 Volkswagen ID Buzz intends to fill a completely unexplored niche as electric vehicles gain popularity each year and there aren't many roomy EV options for families. The ID Buzz was inspired by the classic Type 2 Microbus, or VW Bus, produced by the German manufacturer and pays homage to it in its design. Along with its distinctively retro exterior design, it will include a roomy cabin with three rows of adjustable seating. The ID Buzz's all-electric drivetrain will be available in rear and all-wheel drive variants, with a predicted 260-mile operating range. According to VW, the vehicle can charge its battery from 5 to 80 percent when plugged into a DC fast charger in 30 minutes. The business also intends to eventually roll out its plug-and-charge technology, which effectively does away with the requirement for using an app or a card for payment to unlock the charger. The Volkswagen van will finally be sold in the United States when the ID Buzz goes on sale there in 2024. Even though the new Microbus has already been officially photographed, the firm hasn't provided much data, particularly regarding the American version. However, a lot of that information ought to start coming out this year, if not earlier. Vito has not disclosed the ID Buzz's price or the available trim levels. But based on the price of EVs on the market right now, we predict it will start at about $40,000. Performance, power, and motor of an EV. The ID Buzz will be built on Volkswagen's modular electric drive, MEB architecture, which presently supports company vehicles, including the crossovers Audi e-tron and VW ID4. The ID Buzz will be available in both a commercial and passenger variant in Europe, but only the long wheelbase version will be available in America. A single electric motor installed at the rear of the vehicle will power the standard model and provide 229 pound-feet of torque and 201 horsepower. In the future, the portfolio will also include a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup with about 295 horsepower, comparable to the current ID4. We have experienced driving a passenger van that is different from the one we will receive in the United States, in that it has a smaller battery and a shorter wheelbase, but it's still given us a better understanding of what to expect. VW hasn't provided much information regarding the battery pack for the ID Buzz, particularly the one that will be used on American cars. Only that the battery will be bigger than the 77 kWh pack that powers the next European model has been disclosed by the manufacturer. The American ID Buzz should have a range of at least 260 miles between charges. In just 30 minutes, a DC fast charger, according to VW, can charge a vehicle from 0 to 80 percent. Its vast and adaptable interior is one of the ID Buzz's distinguishing features. For passengers in the back seats, the front chairs include tables that fold out of the backrests and movable armrests. Between the front seats is a central console that may be removed. A 10-inch digital gauge cluster is one of the ID Buzz's notable standard features, but the top options include adjustable ambient lighting and a set of massaging front seats. The touchscreen that protrudes from the center of the dashboard serves as the main control for the infotainment system in the VW van. Although 12.0-inch displays are also available, 10.0-inch screens are the standard size. Additionally, we expect the ID Buzz to include standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as maybe a rear seat entertainment system. A Wi-Fi hotspot with wireless device charging and a subscription model should also be accessible. For the ID Buzz, a variety of driver assistance systems are offered as both standard and optional features. Volkswagen also features a memory function for self-parking that supposedly uses previously known routes. Learn more about the ID's results by visiting the websites of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NATSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IAHS Test Crashes for Buzz.
The 2025 Volkswagen ID Buzz intends to fill a completely unexplored niche as electric vehicles gain popularity each year and there aren't many roomy EV options for families. The ID Buzz was inspired by the classic Type 2 Microbus, or V2 Bus, produced by the German manufacturer and pays homage to it in its design. Along with its distinctively retro exterior design, it will include a roomy cabin with three rows of adjustable seating. The ID Buzz's all-electric powertrain will come in rear and all-wheel drive configurations, delivering a driving range that's expected to be around 260 miles. Plugged into a DC fast charger, VW says the van will be able to charge its battery from 5 to 80% in 30 minutes. The company also eventually plans to introduce its plug-in charge technology that essentially eliminates the need to use an app or a card for payment to unlock the charger. When the ID Buzz goes on sale in the US in 2024, it'll mark the Volkswagen van's long-awaited return to our shores. While we've now seen official photos of the new Microbus, the company still hasn't disclosed a ton of details specifically regarding the American version. However, much of that information should start to be revealed later this year, if not sooner. VW hasn't said how much the ID Buzz will cost or what trim levels will be offered. However, current market pricing for EVs leads us to expect it will start at around $40,000. EV Motor, Power, and Performance The ID Buzz will ride on Volkswagen's modular electric drive, MEB, platform that currently underpins corporate products such as the Audi e-tron crossover and the VW ID4 crossover. While Europe will get both a commercial and passenger version of the ID Buzz, America will only get a long wheelbase passenger one. The base model will feature a single rear-mounted electric motor that makes 201 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque. A dual motor all-wheel drive configuration with around 295 horsepower, similar to the current ID4, will also eventually join the lineup. We've driven a European version of the passenger van, which has a shorter wheelbase and smaller battery than the one we'll get in the US, but it still gave us a better idea of what to expect. VW hasn't provided much information regarding the battery pack for the ID Buzz particularly the one that will be used on American cars. Only that the battery will be bigger than the 77 kWh pack that powers the next European model has been disclosed by the manufacturer. The American ID Buzz should have a range of at least 260 miles between charges. In just 30 minutes, a DC fast charger, according to VW, can charge a vehicle from 0 to 80%. Its vast and adaptable interior is one of the ID Buzz's distinguishing features. For passengers in the back seats, the front chairs include tables that fold out of the backrests and movable armrests. Between the front seats is a central console that may be removed. Additionally, the cargo area's adjustable load floor, which provides 40 cubic feet of storage space, can be installed. A 10-inch digital gauge cluster is one of the ID Buzz's notable standard features, but the top options include adjustable ambient lighting and a set of massaging front seats. The infotainment system in the VW van is primarily controlled by a touchscreen that protrudes from the center of the dashboard. 10.0-inch screens are the default size, however 12.0-inch displays are also available. Additionally, we anticipate that the ID Buzz will come equipped with standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as perhaps a rear seat entertainment system. Additionally, a Wi Fi hotspot with a subscription model and wireless device charging ought to be available. A wide range of driver assistance technologies are available as standard and optional features for the ID Buzz. Volkswagen also has a self parking memory feature which is believed to operate on previously remembered itineraries. Visit the websites of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, 
IHS, to learn more about the findings of the ID Buzz's crash tests. The 2025 Volkswagen ID Buzz intends to fill a completely unexplored niche as electric vehicles gain popularity each year and there aren't many roomy EV options for families. The ID Buzz was inspired by the classic Type 2 Microbus, or VJ Bus, produced by the German manufacturer and pays homage to it in its design. Along with its distinctively retro exterior design, it will include a roomy cabin with three rows of adjustable seating. The ID Buzz's all-electric drivetrain will be available in rear and all-wheel drive variants, with a predicted 260-mile operating range. According to VW, the vehicle can charge its battery from 5 to 80 percent when plugged into a DC fast charger in 30 minutes. The business also intends to eventually roll out its plug-in charge technology, which effectively does away with the requirement for using an app or a card for payment to unlock the charger. In 2025, what will change? When the ID Buzz gets on sale in the US in 2024, the Volkswagen van will finally be sold there. Despite the fact that the new Microbus has already been publicly pictured, the company hasn't offered much information, especially regarding the American version. But a good deal of that information should start becoming public this year, if not sooner. Vivo has not disclosed the ID Buzz's price or the available trim levels. But based on the price of EVs on the market right now, we predict it will start at about $40,000. Volkswagen's modular electric drive MEV architecture, which presently supports corporate products like the Audi e-tron crossover and the VW ID4 crossover, will support the ID Buzz. While Europe will get both a commercial and passenger version of the ID Buzz, America will only get a long wheelbase passenger one. The base model will feature a single rear-mounted electric motor that makes 201 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque. A dual-motor, all-wheel-drive configuration with around 295 horsepower, similar to the current ID4, will also eventually join the lineup. We've driven a European version of the passenger van, which has a shorter wheelbase and smaller battery than the one we'll get in the US, but it still gave us a better idea of what to expect. Viviad has released few details about the ID Buzz's battery pack, specifically the one that'll be used on US models. The company has only said that the battery will be larger than the 77 kilowatt hours pack that powers the upcoming European model. We expect that the American ID Buzz will have at least 260 miles of range per charge. Vijayu claims that those who plug into a DC fast charger will be able to charge from 5 to 80 percent in as little as 30 minutes. Interior Comfort and Cargo Its vast and adaptable interior is one of the ID Buzz's distinguishing features. For passengers in the back seats, the front chairs include tables that fold out of the backrests and movable armrests. Between the front seats is a central console that may be removed. According to VW, the US model comes standard with three rows and seating for seven people. Additionally, the cargo area's adjustable load floor, which provides 40 cubic feet of storage space, can be installed. A 10-inch digital gauge cluster is one of the ID Buzz's notable standard features, but the top options include adjustable ambient lighting and a set of massaging front seats. The infotainment system in the VW van is primarily controlled by a touchscreen that protrudes from the center of the dashboard. 10.0-inch screens are the default size, however 12.0-inch displays are also available. Additionally, we anticipate that the ID Buzz will come equipped with standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as perhaps a rear seat entertainment system. Additionally, a Wi-Fi hotspot with a subscription model and wireless device charging ought to be available. A wide range of driver assistance technologies are available as standard and optional features for the ID Buzz. 
Volkswagen also has a self-parking memory feature, which is believed to operate on previously remembered itineraries. Visit the websites of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHESA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IHS, to learn more about the findings of the ID. Buzz's crash tests. We end things here for the time being.